Okay, there you go. I'm going to share a screen. There. Okay. We almost are at the top and ready to go. Okay, we're ready to go here. So hello, everybody. Thanks for uh, joining today's uh, session, the 16th of June, uh, here in 2022 in the United States, and the 17th of June, if you're in Asia, Japan, anywhere, as well as Europe. So we got two days here going uh, with tonight's session. Uh, today we have uh, Samaya San, who is the managing director for a digital trade platform called Trade Waltz that happens to use Hyperledger. So we're going to have him uh, speak with us. Before we get going here, I um, want to bring out a couple things from a Hyperledger perspective. One, all are welcome here. So glad you're all here, uh, as well as the people that are listening to the recording right now. And then number two, uh, let's go to the next. Antitrust policy is available here. Please don't share anything that is competitive in nature or is price fixing all that. This is an open session that I'll get to participate in along with uh, you know, all, the, all the welcome here. I am recording this. The recording will be available uh, on uh, YouTube uh, here. There were 90 people registered for this and uh, we'll put it up on YouTube and usually there's a few hundred people that look at that. So if you're looking at the, listen to the recording, thanks for uh, joining us here and uh, glad, glad you're here. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Samaya San uh, and uh, let him do any further introductions that he'd like to do as well as start explaining uh, trade waltz. I'm very interested in hearing about this. Uh, I know three people have already told me, yeah, we couldn't be on tonight, but we want to, uh, we're gonna be listening to the recording. So that, that's uh, great, great to hear that. He has said that if uh, you have questions along the way, you're welcome to ping them in. I'll be monitoring chat here and looking at those, or you can say it, you know, uh, speak up and ask a question. So with that, I'm gonna stop sharing. And Samaya San, you can uh, grab and uh, start sharing your screens there. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I will share my screen. Beautiful, yeah. looks good. Thank you very much. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for giving me the chance uh, to uh, make the presentation at the very nice stage uh, on the hyperledger supply chain and trade finance uh, specialized special interest group. And uh, yeah, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Satoru Somea, the managing director of Redwoods Inc. And I'm, I'm in a person uh, in charge uh, of the head of uh, CEO's office. Uh, which is uh, uh, charging for the uh, promotion, uh, government negotiation, or the uh, recruitment, and uh, CEO's mission, uh, special mission. And also, I'm the head of the uh, Global and Alliance, Depart Alliance Business uh, Department, and uh, making the consulting business, Alliance business, and also the global uh, expansion of uh, our platform. And I'm also in charge of the uh, UN CEFACT, uh, the Japanese committee uh, member, and also the, I'm the member of the METI, uh, the government of Japan, uh, to talk about the uh, trade digitalization uh, in Japan like that. Yeah. And uh, uh, today, uh, I, I would like to uh, introduce uh, our uh, digital trade platform, uh, TradeWorks Update. Uh, we are successfully uh, raised uh, our uh, production uh, base uh, product uh, in this April. And uh, we are now uh, expanding our activity to global world, uh, including the uh, Asian area or the US area or the Europe area like that. And uh, I want to uh, introduce uh, one more thing, the future plans uh, of trade uh, We want uh, to utilize the uh, trade data to make some uh, additional uh, add value uh, functionality uh, in the future. So I want to share the plan, uh, some of the plans of the future uh, technology and services. Uh, if you have uh, any queries, uh, please feel free uh, to uh, just interrupt and get in the uh, questions uh, in my uh, presentation, yeah. Good, good. And, and I guess one other thing here, uh, my understanding is that Trade Waltz was part of the was presented a couple of years ago, possibly to the trade finance group. And since we merged the supply chain and trade finance, 
this is brought for a broader audience there. So I think mm -hmm. that's why the update was in there. So go ahead, Samaya san Yeah, thank you very much. So the first slide, uh, which shows uh, what is the issue uh, we are focusing on uh, for the service. Uh, this uh, left side uh, is showing uh, the uh, trade industry current situation. Uh, there are so many stakeholders uh, in the economy of the current uh, country, like the uh, cargo owners, like the Mitsubishi Corporation existence, and also admit to the logistic companies are existing, or the MUFG, like banks, and the insurance companies, and the uh, airlines, and also the uh, shipping companies, or the customs, or the uh, ECO, uh, certification origin uh, issuing uh, association is also existing in one country. And also uh, another part, uh, the counterparty has also so many stakeholders. So uh, trade industry has so many uh, stakeholders and they want to uh, digitalize the uh, sharing information uh, between them so they are making some uh, digital uh, initiative uh, internal companies, uh, and they are now uh, making so many uh, digitalized data uh, of trade uh, in Toyota or some uh, SMBC or those kinds of group is also making the uh, internal uh, trade data. But the uh, analog process uh, is existing between uh, company to company, B2B, and the company to government like the B2G, and also the government to government, G to G. So those kinds of the intermediate uh, communication is still uh, making uh, the analog process because uh, there are there were no standard format for the electrical transaction data uh, in transaction uh, trade a digital trade transaction, or sometimes uh, they need some secure uh, communication uh, infrastructure. Uh, to communicate uh, between uh, country to country or industry to industry. That is a problem. So right now, uh, so many uh, trade companies are using the uh, paper documents, a PDF or the facsimile or the any other thing uh, to exchange the data. So if they uh, get the, those kinds of analog data, they need to see what, what is written in this uh, document and input to uh, their internal system. And after that, uh, they need to mm, export uh, the internal uh, systems data to Word or Excel or Spreadsheet or any other thing and making the PDF and the exchange to other party. That is the uh, analog process between B2B and B2G. So uh, th this uh, analog communication is handled by a paperwork. So in COVID-19 situation, uh, trade practitioners need to gather in office so they cannot uh, work from a home. And also the status of inventory and the logistics are uh, unclear uh, because the uh, paper documents or the PDF or the facsimile or internal system or the website of shipping companies, these are the having uh, silo uh, information uh, each other. So if the uh, in COVID-19 situation, the uh, Long Beach uh, port or the Los Angeles port is stuck uh, in the container, or the, in some uh, Russia situation, the air container cannot fly uh, across the uh, Russia's uh, air, or the uh, China has some uh, COVID-19 situation and uh, making stop the ships uh, on the port. Those uh, issues happening, and they cannot um, figure out what will be the uh, uh, alternative uh, logistic route or the, how to uh, book the uh, space of the uh, ship. Uh, those is unclear. So they cannot uh, completely uh, solve the uh, global wide uh, logistic problems uh, these days. And also uh, by handling the uh, analog papers, they take time. In EU countries like the uh, England or the uh, France, uh, they take only two hours for one import plus one export uh, transaction in this uh, B2B communication. But uh, in Japan, uh, 72 hours, uh, around 34 times uh, longer than uh, EU. And also uh, China and the uh, ASEAN countries takes uh, average uh, 235 hours uh, for one import and uh, one export. So 111 times longer than the uh, EU. So which means that uh, one day work uh, in EU will combat to the one month work uh, in Japan 
and convert to a four month work uh, in uh, ASEAN countries. Wow. That is uh, World Bank research data. So uh, the analog work cost is also uh, expensive uh, to handle the paper uh, around uh, 342 uh, US dollar per trade in them. And is so, that so nice okay. uh, quick question yes. on the 72 hours there? Is that holding things up from actually getting unloaded off the ship, or is that happening in parallel? It's just 72 um, hours of somebody's time to do that work. Yeah, uh, 72 hours uh, is done by the logistic uh, department of the okay. each uh, yeah. companies and uh, handle uh, from the purchase order, uh, estimation, and making contract and shipping documents and so, uh, banking uh, uh, LC insurance and also the uh, insurance companies, insurance policy, or the uh, import custom clearance and uh, final payment. Uh, these areas, uh, analog communication is done and the total uh, will be the 72 hours. Got it, thank you. Okay. So uh, we want to solve uh, this kind of the inefficiency uh, of the uh, trade operation uh, in analog process. Uh, we uh, developed uh, the one uh, standardized, uh, the Japanese uh, standardized uh, digital communication platform in trade industry, which is called uh, TradeWorks. And uh, uh, this is made by the uh, All Japan member uh, and uh, also the supported by uh, government. And uh, this, in this uh, TradeWorks, we need to secure the data transaction uh, between B2B and B2G. We use uh, the uh, hyperledger fabric, the blockchain technology, uh, to make the authenticity uh, of the data and uh, in, if, uh, not copied or the, uh, proving not copied or the duplicated uh, the data. And uh, using, uh, uh, I will uh, uh, explain the hyperledger fabric utilization uh, in next page. And uh, uh, utilizing uh, this uh, trade was a uh, digital trade platform. Uh, in POC, uh, we prove that the uh, uh, Trade uh, fraction, yes, I will only use PC, internet, and also trade words as a, a third service, as they don't need to gather in office in COVID-19 situation or other situation. And also the uh, status of inventory and logistics uh, will be gathered uh, in trade words, not in facsimile or the PDF or the papers or the internal system or the website of shipping uh, companies. Uh, the information will be stored in trade words. So they can uh, think about uh, which area, the which town or the which ship or the which port uh, is right now stop. And the uh, alternative uh, logistic route is this. And also are there some space uh, for the booking or something. Then uh, the global logistic problem can be solved uh, in free uh, integrated uh, information. Yeah. And also uh, by utilizing a trade routes uh, in POC, uh, Japanese trade fractioners uh, could uh, reduce the uh, number of uh, time and also the working cost uh, for 44 percent. And also uh, in uh, POC in ASEAN uh, country uh, like the Thailand, uh, we could uh, prove that the 60 percent uh, of the trade operation can be uh, improved uh, by utilizing uh, trade loss. And uh, yeah, uh, I want to uh, introduce about the hyperledger fabric. Yeah, uh, we have the three layers uh, in our system. The first one is a UI layer. So trade production is uh, can use by screen. Yeah, uh, and also as uh, a second uh, area, we are having the application layer and uh, uh, we are uh, using the API uh, specification, uh, API uh, technology. So we can uh, combine a uh, link uh, to uh, SAP, Salesforce, or any other system to input the data uh, instead of the UI layer. So we can communicate uh, or as a system uh, around the world. And uh, after that, in uh, the communication between industry to industry or the industry to government, we need to make proof uh, this is uh, a true data and uh, we need to make the record uh, of the transaction. So we are using the API technology to store the blockchain layer, uh, the, that kinds of the record. Uh, and uh, we are using the block trace, uh, which is specialized uh, by the NTT uh, research uh, R&D uh, center. Uh, and uh, this technology is a hyperledger fabric. 
So utilizing this uh, hyperledger fabric, uh, we are ensuring uh, the data's authenticity. And uh, uh, what is uh, specialized in block trace? Uh, we will uh, have the uh, nodes uh, abroad uh, in the future, right? Uh, not only in Japan, but uh, Thailand or Singapore or New Zealand or Vietnam or Cambodia. And uh, each country will have the uh, one node and uh, to check uh, what the data, uh, what data will be the correct one. And uh, also the, we can make the data governance uh, improvement we will not share the, all the data uh, of the in secret data uh, to all over the world. We will store the uh, secret data of uh, own country uh, to own uh, nodes or the distributed treasure, but the uh, authenticity of the data uh, can be uh, shared uh, to the global world. So the uh, <clears throat> recording the data to blockchain area uh, is a little bit small. So the uh, performance uh, is very good, uh, the speed, and also data governance is uh, very secure and uh, making use, uh, utilize uh, blockchain technology. That is uh, our uh, blockchain layers uh, feature right now. Okay, can I ask a quick question back on that? Yes, yes. yes. Um, let's see, so, so the way to interface with this is either via some sort of UI GUI, mm. right? Or an API. It sounds yes. like you provided. Okay. So those are the two mechanisms for interfacing with this. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Got you. And then I think I got is that each country is, is any, any shippers or any, any participants they use, you put one note per country is way, way you have it set up right now. Ah, yes. And uh, yeah. uh, I will explain uh, in the global expansion of the Lotus uh, company. Gotcha. Uh, in each country. All right. Okay. okay. Got it. Okay. That's the future part. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Any, any, <laughs> Thank you. any questions out there from anybody else uh, before Samaya san continues? Going once, going twice, going three times. Samaya, go, go right ahead. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. And uh, there are so many uh, digital trade platforms uh, existing in the all over the world. But uh, our uh, trade was advantage or the feature uh, is uh, our strategy is all in one. Uh, that is the uh, terminology of our uh, strategy. Uh, yeah, uh, there are about uh, 50 uh, digital trade platforms around uh, in the worldwide uh, to utilize the uh, blockchain technology and uh, launching uh, so many uh, platform services uh, these days. And uh, maybe uh, the 45 or around uh, trade, uh, digital trade platform uh, is uh, focusing on the one industry, like the uh, exporters uh, and the Mm, importers, uh, communication, right? The pre trade, uh, uh, digital trade platform uh, is existing. And also the financial area, uh, bank's uh, platform is existing, and also carriers' uh, platform is existing, and the uh, platform is existing. But uh, the, I uh, introduced that the uh, problem uh, is between the industry to industry, uh, the first. So if they will uh, create the data uh, in one uh, industry platform, uh, they need to communicate uh, to other uh, industry platform by uh, the one by one API linkage or the, uh, sometimes the analog input to uh, other uh, platform. So uh, we need uh, the uh, cross industry platform uh, to communicate the uh, banks and uh, career or bank to uh, for other. So we need the hub. Uh, to uh, make the communication between industry to industry and also platform to platform. So we uh, we want uh, to be the, that kind of hub functionality uh, of the uh, trade fraction and also the platform. Uh, maybe around the five uh, platform or the maybe less than 10 uh, platform is focusing on the cross industry right now. And the second, uh, we are co covering the wide variety of documents uh, some uh, trade platform is focusing on the finance area, so they will create the finance areas documentation uh, digitalization. And sometimes the logistic areas uh, the document uh, digitalization by a shipping company. But uh, we need to make the, a communication between cross industry. So we need to cover all the documents. Uh, that was very tough uh, work for us and to develop uh, this uh, data model 
uh, by uh, four years, very long time uh, by uh, Japanese uh, SI years. Yeah, but uh, through this uh, long year uh, development, uh, we can not only cover the, all the uh, type of document, but uh, uh, we can uh, store the uh, structured uh, data. That is also one more point. Uh, sometimes the uh, digital trade platform is ex uh, exchanging the PDF data uh, each by each, but uh, we are storing the uh, contract's name or the contract person's name or the unit price or the uh, quantity, those kinds of the column level uh, data uh, into our uh, transaction data and blockchain. So uh, we can utilize uh, these data to automatically generate other uh, documents because uh, uh, other uh, document is also using 60% um, or 70% same data from other trade documents. So when we uh, utilize uh, column level data, we can uh, utilize the data to generate uh, the other documents internally. And not only uh, utilize the data in internally, we can uh, share uh, by uh, using the uh, user's uh, permit uh, to share and to the uh, alliance partner of the, over, over the world. So the uh, 50 digital uh, trade platforms are in global wide is not our competitor, but the, our friends or the collaborator uh, in that meaning. We are making alliance to the uh, carrier's platform, bank platform, or exporter's uh, platform to share our uh, columns data to utilize the carrier's uh, functionality or the uh, bank platform's uh, uh, functionality or any other thing. So uh, our aim is to create an ecosystem, the started a platform ecosystem together. And uh, I, we want to be the, like the iPhone uh, for the Japanese or the Asian uh, trade fractioneers and making the app store, application store uh, on our uh, platform and uh, selling uh, the collaborators uh, product uh, on our uh, application store and connect the data and the trade productions of Asia or in Japan uh, can use the uh, all over the world's rating uh, services by uh, entrance of the trade ones. Uh, that is the concept of ecosystem. And uh, trade wars uh, is started but by not only one company, but the consortium of Japan. Uh, the blockchain expert NTT data is uh, gathering uh, the uh, 18 companies uh, of trade fractions, uh, three mega banks, uh, three insurance companies, and eight top cargo owners and the carriers, logistic companies. Uh, so we mm, made the uh, top brand uh, of the uh, trade industry players and uh, as the cross industry consortium uh, from 2017. <clears throat> and uh, we discussed uh, what is the problem in trade industry all over the uh, whole picture and uh, how to solve uh, by the blockchain technology and uh, created the trade arts prototype in first year and uh, made the uh, POC in Singapore, Japan, Thailand and approved the uh, improvements uh, or the benefits uh, of our platform and uh, made the uh, lobbying activities uh, with the uh, K Dunlin, uh, that's a uh, uh, big companies association in Japan uh, to change the law to accept the uh, document, uh, trade document digitalization. And we changed uh, the three times uh, the law by lobbying. And uh, right now uh, in EBL uh, situation, we made a two year uh, negotiation uh, with the uh, government of justice and also the uh, supported by a prime minister, a former prime minister, Sudasan, uh, we could uh, make the uh, plan uh, to change, uh, uh, suggest the plan uh, to uh, government of justice uh, in this February in a correct way, a proper ways. And uh, maybe uh, Japan uh, can uh, change the government role uh, to accept the EBL uh, in 2025 right now. And also, uh, we are ma 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 making the global uh, activities uh, to make this market enlarging. So uh, we made the project with uh, ASEAN, uh, government uh, countries, and also the uh, APEC uh, International uh, Conference. And also, we are talking with the uh, government uh, of Japan uh, to make 
the promotion uh, in G7, G20, or the World uh, Economic Forum, or any other players. And uh, yeah, as you know, the digital trade uh, uh, platform or the industry is now expanding right now. So we created a company to handle this platform as a trade was in, uh, in 2020 by uh, co investment uh, by uh, seven uh, big companies. And also right now, three companies are joining uh, from the academic career and also the logistic career. So right now we are calling the All Japan and also supported by the government. So uh, industry, government, academic, All Japan are starting uh, from Japan right now. So Samaya, so okay, real, yes. real fast question, back to the co-invested. Co-invested mm -hmm. means they, they put some money in, right? In yes, order yes. To, okay, and the others, I don't know if later you're going to speak to how how you're charging for this or what's the charges in order to use the network. That that would be helpful also. Ah, right. Yeah. Uh, invested is just to the um, they are making the stakeholders and the, our service fee model uh, is uh, annual annual base or the uh, transaction fee model. Uh, we are having the two types and the trade fractioners uh, who use the trade was uh, will pay the uh, service fee for annual or the transaction base to trade words, and uh, they will reduce about the uh, 60 uh, US dollar uh, by each trade operation uh, by utilizing trade words, then uh, they will pay around um, 10 US dollar or 20 US dollar like that, so they can get the benefit for the 50 or uh, 40 uh, US dollar per trade. So if uh, they can times uh, the uh, 1,000 uh, transaction, uh, they can get the benefits, that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. So uh, we are now uh, starting the digitalization in Japan's uh, trading industry. But uh, if the uh, counterparties uh, country has no uh, digital trade platform or the not connecting, uh, we need to make the uh, printout the digital data to uh, paper and send it to uh, counterparties uh, country. And that is very, very uh, sad thing for us. So we are now uh, making the system linkage uh, between a digital trade platform, like the national platform of Thailand or the Singapore or New Zealand and Australia. Then we can exchange the uh, trade, uh, digital trade uh, information of each other, and the end to end free digital rights can be uh, achieved. So uh, we are making the five uh, countries uh, system linkage project uh, in APEC uh, International Conference. And uh, uh, this uh, vision uh, is for 20, 2022. And uh, right now, a uh, one year uh, development is now uh, continuing. And uh, uh, we will uh, make the uh, results report uh, in the uh, summit uh, of the APEC uh, in Thailand. Uh, to the, uh, this year, the chair countries are Thailand. And the next year will be the uh, USA. And uh, yeah, we will uh, make some uh, nice, uh, we want to make nice speech uh, at that, yeah. And uh, this project is supported by the Japanese government METI. And also uh, in this project, uh, we are making the, some um, additional uh, mission, uh, not only exchanging the data, uh, we will uh, challenge the issue of uh, exchanging uh, between the uh, countries. And also uh, we are tagging with the uh, visualizing CO2 emission platform, uh, which is called uh, Zero Volt from Japan to uh, visualize uh, Japan to Thailand is a logistic one transaction. I uh, will make this CO2 and uh, Japan, Japan to Singapore's uh, this uh, uh, container has this CO2 emission. Uh, this kind of the calculation uh, should be uh, investigated by this uh, TSC, yeah. Okay, so, kind of, so, so scope two types of, of uh, carbon tracking. Yeah. It sounds like so yeah planning and making sample uh will be the 2022 and maybe 2023 uh, we will make the uh, conform some um, functionality yeah yeah yes. okay yeah and uh, we are not only connecting the platform but uh, some uh, countries are not having uh the digital trail platform yet 
So uh, in that timing, uh, we are now uh, making the global expansion, which means that uh, we can uh, share or rent as a trade works as a franchise uh, to other uh, countries. And uh, in ASEAN economies, we are having so many discussions like the Vietnam or any other Indonesia or something. And uh, on April 23, uh, the chair country of uh, ASEAN uh, this year is Cambodia. And uh, we met the uh, prime minister uh, of the uh, Cambodia, uh, Hun Sen San, uh, in this April. Uh, in just 30 minutes uh, between the, our Prime Minister Kishida-san's uh, international uh, meeting and also the uh, dinner time, uh, we could have the 30 minutes uh, for discussion. So made the uh, suggestion that the uh, traders can contribute to the, not only uh, Cambodia, but the uh, ASEAN countries. Uh, so we want to request some support or something. And uh, yeah, uh, he said uh, the positive feedback about those kinds of things. And uh, he assigned the uh, Ministry uh, of the uh, Foreign uh, Investment uh, Area. Uh, so we will uh, move on to the next step uh, in uh, ASEAN economies, uh, countries. And uh, in, okay, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, in Vietnam, uh, we are also uh, making uh, same kinds of uh, uh, process. And uh, Kishida-san uh, is also uh, visiting uh, to Vietnam uh, one week uh, before our uh, business trip. And uh, he said about the uh, uh, trade wars, uh, is now making the private sector's activity to digitalizing the public uh, trade procedure uh, between the Japan and the, uh, Vietnam, those kind of things. So the uh, All Japan uh, is also promoted by uh, government side right now. And uh, that is the uh, expansion to the global wide. And if we can uh, get um, linked the uh, uh, trade data, the uh, next step uh, will be the utilizing data to create some uh, new functionality, like the compliance check. Uh, yeah, we need to make uh, the uh, compliance check if the items are uh, is a little bit danger. So we will uh, check uh, by uh, complying. Uh, compare to the uh, government's role or the something as in the uh, our masters uh, of the items constituent. So not mean the uh, lithium ion battery, but the, uh, the lithium ion battery will uh, con contain uh, the copper or the uh, lithium or something. And uh, in that meaning, uh, by uh, this role, government's role, we need some uh, application uh, to uh, before the uh, transportation, that kind of thing, uh, we will make the compliance check. Uh, this functionality is now uh, preparing and will release uh, in 2023. And uh, in the future world, uh, we can uh, visualize or the, we can know the transaction amount or the uh, rate payment rate or the something and the, or also the SDG score. And we can make some credit rating to the global trading, uh, trading area like Amazon. Then uh, we can make the credit um, risk or rating uh, functionality in the future. So we want to uh, get the, the data uh, to um, prove uh, which uh, company uh, is best for trade uh, partner or something. And IoT tracking already, uh, we are making the POC and uh, prove that uh, this is uh, Japan to uh, Taiwan, the Chinese Taipei's uh, transaction, uh, when and where the container uh, is getting to uh, Taiwan. Those kinds of things can be uh, visualized. And uh, also uh, digital currency payment uh, is proved. Uh, we are using the uh, EBL uh, document data uh, in trade world. And as a digital currency uh, payment, a digital platform utilizing a blockchain. So two blockchains uh, combining uh, by the atomic swap uh, technology. And uh, this was the uh, first use case uh, to communicate the uh, blockchain to blockchain uh, communication and this uh, payment by a smart contract in the world. And uh, this was the uh, uh, 
broadcasted in a uh, uh, famous newspaper in Japan. But uh, this is just POC, uh, so we want to uh, get to the next step. And uh, yeah, uh, our, this is the final slide. Uh, if we can uh, get the uh, contract flow uh, by the uh, frameworks and the flow of goods uh, will be censored by the IoT sensor, like the IoT uh, area, uh, as we uh, noted in uh, two slides uh, previously. And uh, we can make the uh, smart contract uh, to pay the money uh, by the uh, digital currency. Maybe uh, this trade industry can be a little bit automated uh, utilizing these three technology, blockchain, IoT, and also the smart contract uh, to pay and the digital currency, yeah. So then uh, our uh, trade industry's business model uh, could be a change like the uh, uh, Uber changed the uh, way of a taxi like that, yeah. Thank you for listening. And uh, if you have any queries, uh, please feel free to, uh, free to contact or uh, ask uh, this time. Good. Thank you, Samaya san, for uh, sharing that with us uh, here this evening, US time, uh, morning there in Japan here. Uh, I got one question and folks, uh, tee up your questions here either in chat or uh, get ready to uh, speak here if you have. Um, a little bit back, you talked about it took four years to create a data model <laughs> mm. there. So, so uh, maybe if you could explain a little bit, you know, was was that where, where was all the time? Was it there was a lot of fighting between people said, I don't want this data model. I don't want it. Was it a shared data sharing issue? What should, what should be the minimal data shared? And what could I else could I share? You know, kind of a data privacy, data security type of issue or, you know, what what? Why did it take four years to uh, create a data model? <laughs> yeah, maybe at uh, 1.5 or two years uh, to share and uh, make some mm, mm, minimum common set uh, of the data uh, takes time. Like there are uh, three mega brands or the three mega insurance uh, companies or the yeah. cargo owners. So, yeah, I have this uh, columns uh, in this uh, trade transaction, but uh, I have uh, another uh, column. So we need to set some standard uh, columns model uh, together. Uh, that takes time. And also, uh, we um, first established the fully uh, blockchain covered the uh, platform to um, utilize the uh, data, but uh, the performance and the uh, development cost could be very, very expensive uh, if we uh, utilize blockchain technology all the area, uh, like the application area and also the UI layer or something. So uh, we changed the data model uh, to the stores area and the uh, applications area and uh, making the uh, which uh, content uh, should be uh, stored in blockchain area and uh, which uh, data will be controlled by uh, application layer. That take time for one year, yeah, alone. And uh, also the development uh, of the uh, companies like that and uh, making the uh, some uh, comment feedback uh, from the trial users. And we uh, changed some uh, data columns uh, to switch those kinds of the not fighting but the uh, brush up in the uh, time takes so many times okay so so a couple of years to get the data model there and then another year or so to uh figure out what should be in the blockchain and what should be in the application layer yeah and, and then yes. kind of hardening it make it solid all that kind of good stuff yes yeah okay good good what, what any questions out there from folks I got one more question if there's no other questions out there. So uh, <laughs> anybody want to shoot? Okay, well, I'm going to ask one last question and then we'll uh, close things out here. Um, so you talked earlier about uh, APAC and some of the other countries and some of the other uh, trade systems that are out there that you're integrating with. So uh, how much, if you talk about the broader world, have you looked at things like Trade Lens who are doing something similar to what you're you're doing there and, and working together with them? Is that is that a possibility that people could could dream about, or is that something that not 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 probably not going to happen? And if you don't give anything confidential, obviously, <laughs> here. 
Yeah, uh, we are also uh, make, made the press release uh, with uh, fragrance uh, in Thailand's project. Yeah. So yeah, uh, everyone, uh, every platform uh, can be have the uh, same concept uh, in B2B area. Yeah, in B2C area, one uh, user interface uh, can uh, be um, spread uh, to uh, all over the world, right? Like, like the uh, Amazon or Alibaba or something. Yeah. But the uh, B2B uh, area, uh, every country has own policy and own industry has own policy. So maybe one um, digital platform can take score, uh, cannot be happen, I think. So uh, the interoperability is uh, uh, one very uh, important and uh, uh, keyword uh, for the B2B. So they will uh, get the uh, own market digitalization and uh, connect uh, in some area uh, between the platform to platform. That is the same concept uh, in the uh, trade industry, uh, trade digital platform uh, industry. So uh, the dream uh, is same. But uh, the, uh, how to uh, achieve uh, the dream uh, could be uh, the realize uh, to the real world. Uh, that is uh, the users uh, yeah. and also the financial uh, area. So we are now having so many uh, NDAs for the uh, preparation uh, mm, mm, talk discussion uh, between uh, platforms. But uh, how to move on to the next step? Uh, we ask uh, each other uh, who will be the potential customer uh, to use uh, this uh, the linkage between platform. Every yeah. time we are asking. And uh, if we mm, get some mm, potential customer uh, together, then I uh, can move on too. Then uh, we will not making the uh, POC festival, but uh, we can make the, a real uh, transaction uh, between platform to platform. Then uh, we can uh, realize the dream uh, come true like that. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay. I like that answer. Just some eyes. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. If there's something, if there's need to do it, we're gonna we'll do, we'll try to make it happen there, mm -hmm. and it yeah. will and it will eventually come out there. So I'll give a. Any last thoughts here on questions before I close out here? Going once, going twice, going three times. So folks, thank you very much for uh, joining us here uh, for the session. Thank you, Samaya-san, for sharing with us. I already saw a thanks, great presentation in the uh, chat there. Uh, on the 26th of June will be our next session. It's gonna be an open discussion. Uh, to talk about blockchain, trade finance, and supply chain uh, together with my other co-chairs, uh, Eric Delacuette, as well as Andrea Frosinini. We'll have, we'll have that open discussion. Then we already have some folks uh, lined up uh, for July here. And then in August, we'll, we'll take some time off uh, for a little bit of summer. So with that, again, thanks everybody who joined live. The folks who are with us on recording, thanks for joining the recording uh, on YouTube here and enjoy a summer day wherever you are. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. See Bye, you. everybody. Bye.